Hey there, lovely soul. I'm Infinity, and thank you so much for joining me on this May 2021 Scorpio reading, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome, Cross Watchers. Welcome. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. And if you're new to me, I'm Infinity, Shaman, Mystic, Psychic, Physical, Empath, Medical, Medium, Distance, Energy, Healer, Channeler, uh, medium, psychic, uh, ascension guide, and divinely guided artist. I have a website. It's called, ooh, interesting. First card. I got a website. It is uh, thehealingbutterfly.org. And I welcome you to go check it out. I have ebooks, guided astral meditations, uh, a new series for empaths, brand new series for empath. There's just two videos out, but many more to come. So check that out. I also have a special on mediumship going on through May 15th. So you can check that out. A really special special for Mother's Day. So without further ado, let's get into it here. We got our first card. I'm here and we're going straight from the top five of wands nine of swords ten of pentacles judgment the high priestess and two of swords so five of wands in reverse nine of swords in reverse these may change these reverse chart cards may change i'm going to check in here in a minute ten of pentacles judgment in reverse high priestess in reverse and two sorry two of swords in reverse okay let me just check in here real quick scorpio yeah <laughs> all but one of these cards are straight up it's the ten of pentacles Okay, so Scorpio, <laughs> all of your readings come up with this. There's definitely was a situation of conflict, um, inner conflict and outer conflict, possibly with a soulmate type person. Um, and this like despair um real sadness loss grief energy uh <laughs> and what's interesting here is this there's this ten of pentacles it's like there's still a lot going on in your life that is good and connected you have connections with people, with family, um, but it's just kind of under a cloud, it feels like, or has been. This judgment card is about balance and, and really seeing the greater picture. And this is in reverse, the high priestess also in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. Um, this just, to me, this is like you're still going through a period of, of sorting out, of figuring out. You are getting information coming in, but it's subconscious. You're still not in an active state of, of being open to a whole lot of incoming guidance from your, your guides and guardians. I feel like, like I'm getting this feeling like, let down whether that's you feel let down by them or they <clears throat> or you feel you let down your guides or guardians the truth of the matter is is that none of that exists there's no let down there's no like i did wrong or shame or judgment even though you got the judgment card that's not what that means um here with the judgment card in reverse it's speaking to a situation in which we're dealing with um we're dealing with needing to see the truth and not wanting to it's like there's the truth and there's your truth 
There's your perspective and reality. And you're stuck in your perspective, in your grief, in your turmoil, in your annoyance with the situation and whatever that means. Um, and... And again, still there's this confusion, there's this need, there's this upper level um, connection, but it's not, it's subconscious again, it's subconscious. So let's dive deep with the, uh, with the archetype cards. We have our uh, selves places tools and initiations or themes we're doing this for every single reading uh so we're getting one card from each of the groupings we're going to start with the self for you scorpio so let's see are we taking that card hearing no um let's see what we get here for this self to offer insight now again these are archetypal cards this is to help you understand what's going on with the energies and archetypes change always they're not like stagnant we're feeling into different archetypes all the time but we're working specifically with there working specifically with each grouping just you know to ensure that we get one of each obviously so we separate them so the next one coming in whoa is the the places just got confused there there's cards that are dropping but i'm not guided to use them which is interesting our place now the tool scorpio what tool do we need to tap into and use or let go of or use differently because like a hammer can be used to build a house or bash in somebody's skull right or slant or hit your hand with or whatever so tools are can be used in many different ways positively and negatively for our development there's your tool now the initiation or the theme let's see what we get here scorpio there it is whoopsie okay so the self the crone male or female doesn't matter the place the mountain and <laughs> the tool the mirror and your theme or initiation is anima mundi Okay, I was just guided to give you a nice long look at that. So let's start with the crone. Really got to bookmark this page. <laughs> the crone, page 87. Okay, here we go, Scorpio. The witch, the old woman, the sage. The crone has seen it all. Nothing frightens or surprises her. She is the final manifestation of the feminine trifecta of maiden, mother, and crone. In her long life, she's witnessed endless cycles of death, sex, failure, rebirth, conflict, and regeneration, giving her the ability to rise above the world of duality. She laughs at the notions of good or bad, right or wrong, as she has seen the earth churning, smoldering, taking life and giving life. The crone energy accepts everything in, everything in devouring beauty and suffering with the same mouth, using their energy to reveal hidden secrets and knowledge. Her energy resides in all of us, though it is 
feared by most for its power and unconventional relationship with death and the macabre. Uh, awakening the crone is dangerously the ma <laughs> macabre. Macabre? Macabre. Yeah, it's macabre, right? I'm like, that totally twisted me up. Awakening the crone is dangerously rich and unapologetic apologetically magic dangerously rich very intense and unapologetically magic and really depends on how you use that magic so when light magic clairvoyant psychic intuitive wise when dark vindictive bitter isolated and ostracized and self-imposed is what I'm hearing here. So if that's the energy that you have here, I'm kind of feeling like somebody who, yes, has seen it all, a little bit more mature, um, or has that energy within them, regardless of age. But it is kind of depicting this... Um, yeah, the witch energy or the... the the sage energy uh in the and then in the mountain the mountain is next we're not even there yet but that's the picture i saw without even really thinking of it like the solitary person um who maybe came out of their of their mountain retreat up you know up in in the solitary place and had a chance encounter with somebody that really changed their energy and kind of lifted things up but it feels like it didn't go the way that the crone thought it might go or wanted it to go and that there's bitterness there again we're the dark energy here is bitter isolated vindictive so it feels like I, like look we have the five and we have the nine you know um this con conflicted energy not working well with others wanting to control and not being able to control and being really upset about it um and i feel like like there's you know there is a sense of releasement it's just slow because the energy i'm picking up with, with here it's like angry stays angry and to soften that up is like softening up a Shiva Lingam <laughs> a crystal. Like it's so hard and so dense. How are you going to soften this up? How are you going to soften this up? Um, it's old. It's dense. It's hard. This is the kind of energy that I'm picking up here that needs to soften up. Okay, let's go to the mountain because that's your place one twenty nine okay the mountain Scorpio the ascent the peak the insurmountable the mountain stands stands eternally in our awareness calling us towards its peak it stirs up static and regal feelings reminding us of the long line of spirits sages uh sadists and gods that have made their humble thrones within its snowy peaks beware though as the mountain can affect us in two ways it can inspire and enliven us to rise to new heights and peak experiences yet it can also create isolation competitiveness and an inflated sense of self standing upon its heights can activate the purest and the perfectionist in us creating separation from those we deem to be below no matter how high you ascend remember that it is within the care of the mountain that the uh the gems the minerals the jewels reside if you think it's all about going up you're following the fool's path and missing the miner's magic and when light grounded to sorry grounded in the eternal steadfast and uplifting and when dark 
ominous, daunting, isolation, and frigid. So we have isolation here twice. Also, there's just isolation throughout here. There's isolation in this confused, being pulled in different directions, two of swords. That's conflict. The two of swords is like op opposing forces coming in conflict with each other. Um, and then we have this isolation with the nine of of um of swords as well um really coming through there and then again so it's isolation isolation so i'm really picking up on this big time um so the mountain is coming through asking you to like come out of the the cavern the cave in the mountain and get reconnected with your guides, your guardians, and most importantly, with Gaia, with yourself, in a, with nature in a soul-based um, way, you're being asked to, and maybe you even live in a mountain, that you're being asked to leave that, the confine of your, of your safe space. It's like, F the world, F everybody, I'm just going to be me by myself and just stew in my um disappointment stew in my anger that sort of thing Ugh, really intense here um and really you know it's up to you to decide you you decide to get to leave the house when you leave the house to go where you're gonna go I'm really feeling that you need to move your environment. You may even need to move your home. And you may even been thinking about it. Like a whole new set of energies, experiences and stuff, regardless of how old you are. And you may be somebody like the, like the crone to be like, this is my last place I'm ever going to live. Or you may be now, if that's the case. I'm kind of picking up on that. But that's another stubborn, another one of, you know, those stubborn traits and ideas where I made a decision long ago that this is going to be the way that it is. And you're kind of in that push pull within yourself. Do I stay? Do I go? What do I do? Do I, do I, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> do I just leave on vacation? Do I go on a visit? Do I find a new home? Like, I think you know something really deeply seeded needs to be extracted and moved out of the environment. That could be you in a, as a whole. Um, okay, let's get into the mirror. Two o one. almost there okay the reflection the illusion the looking glass we look into mirror oh here, let me show you again the mirror and the full moon is there as well that is a clue um yeah this next full moon eclipse you may have a period between last full moon and this coming full moon where things will start to click. But anyway, let's go here. Uh, we look into mirrors every day without recognizing them as portals into another realm. They can shatter, falter, distort, reflect, and project an image back to us that we deem to be true. The energy of the mirror is all about self perception when the archetype of the mirror appears we are in the mythic land of narcissus who saw himself reflected in the pool and fell in love with his own image so compelled by his reflection he could not turn away a fixation that eventually led to his death recognize the power and danger of the mirror it is a construct one that may drive a sh shard between you and your true self the mirror contains trickster energy. Put the phone down, stop with the comparisons, and let the mirror stand empty for a while. Rest with the one inside. So, <clears throat> seeing what you want to see, not seeing what you don't want to see, distorted illusions about a situation, um, fractured 
spirit needing to heal, needing a new environment, whether it's for a vacation or a real move, Scorpio, we need to see things differently, feel things differently, know things differently. And it's like you know the truth deep down. It's like you're at the top of the mountain and you're thirsty and you're isolated and you're alone and it's dark and it's sunny out. The water is flowing. It's no longer winter, but you're still in that energy. You're still stuck in, hey, hey, knock it off. You're still stuck in that energy because it's like protective. It's cold. It's dreary. dreary it's un friendly it's angry it's vengeful even it takes over with negative thoughts and repeating i'm seeing this like round and round and round like like just going over and over and over again certain things about the your, this past situation with this person and um and needing to disconnect from that needing to let it go it's over and you had a hand in making it be over and I think that that's part of it too like your emotions were so out of balance your perception about the situation so skewed that you had such a powerful influence on the the tower moment of things crumbling and that's what you go back to is is questioning and second guessing yourself and what you did and all of that stuff that it's hard for you to leave that but it's over it's done it's been at least six months to a year of this going on if not longer and if not it being a repeating cycle as well scorpio <sighs> it's up to you to decide to leave this space let's see what anima okay cats stop stop sorry <laughs> Anima Mundi. When in doubt, throw a book. Um, it's the last one. I know it's the last one. Okay, here we go. The soul of the world, all that is. Anima Mundi. Anima Mundi epitomizes the principle accept all reject none simply put it is the living soul of the world in all its multifaceted multi-dimensional layers blended together bonded together by loving cosmic forces diversity is celebrated multiplicity is honored and nothing is desired denied embrace nothing is denied embrace constructs of separation dissipate into the wonderful mess of shared consciousness anima monday is the link between the literal and the imaginal the rational and the mythic it is the connective fiber that makes life meaningful this card indicates an initiation on the level of the soul you will awaken the unique light within and witness how this light contributes to the radiance of the entire universe. You will sense yourself as a critical note in the cosmic orchestra. Destiny is altered as you hear the enchanted melody of all living things. Oh, I love this so much. When light tending to the sacred details of life and when dark overwhelmed by the bigness of existence okay so what i'm getting with this as i'm itching now because i'm really getting this intense download for you is that we've got like a plug like there's a dam and what's holding this up is your own energy your own excuse me need i'm hearing for penance for um self 
like putting yourself in prison kind of thing for being disconnected to the universe to the world to spirit for going to you know, like going into darker places where the energy is dark and low vibrational and being comfortable there and like doing your best to keep this dam up because you're like don't know how to handle like the light that you're truly a part of it's like nobody is judging you as harshly as you're judging yourself let me just say that that is coming through really strong here there isn't the judgment is here but that's on that's your judgment for you the other person the situation it's all self-inflicted harm here self-inflicted fear self-inflicted um triggers that caused all this to begin with the the purpose of showing you all of this of going through all of this is just to show you where you're connected where you're disconnected what needs to be healed what needs to be looked at and it's up to you to decide and a lot of times the crone is like f it i'm done but you're not done. There's a lot left to be had, but you have to make the decision to to move out of the state of being that you're in because you have this this psychic spiritual connection to your soul and right now you're just not picking up the phone. You're just like you feel like I again, it feels like that there's this like blame game going on. Like Part of you feels like it's all you and then part of you feels like this is how you were pushed and guided and and how were you why were you pushed and guided in this way why were you you know compelled to do say be what you were in all of these you know ways and facets and stuff like that um so again the overarching energy here is to take yourself out of this it is not winter anymore it is not dark and cold and lonely um aside from the environment that you choose to be in um the mountain can be desolate and cold and frigid i live in the mountains i know trust me <laughs> very understanding of this energy um and or it can be absolutely beautiful and magical and bright and connecting and so spiritual like it said this the mountain is where the the gurus the sages the the um the sage the crone same thing right so it's, it's kind of where we gravitate to to get better connected with self or we can also use this mountain to isolate either way you are being guided to see things differently through the mirror to not be so like first person this perspective we need to get bigger and broader and accept the world of spirit coming in to um, alleviate your sorrow your pain the energy that is stuck in um negative to let go of the past to get into that positive crone energy um that is needed here uh that you are at the core of you this is where we're at here and anima monday is wanting you to connect back to the universe to remember yourself you're here for many different divine purposes and and your journey and your your spirit is calling you begging for you to release what you're stuck to like a ball and chain not letting you move forward really intense <laughs> um and again uh there's so much that can be done on your part to move from this energy there's meditation there's going on walks getting into nature um working and connecting with crystals do, uh working with a shaman a healer like myself working on clearing that energy i think that you have experience with some or all of these things and you've just um stopped because you're so 
sad, depressed, or have been, and and emotionally just turned inside out with with all of this, like a tsunami hitting you, and you just kind of just holding all of this stuff that you know that that works for you or did work for you, and just whoosh, let it all go, and you're just kind of there. Okay. Um, Really feeling the dragon fay here. Let's see what the dragon fay has, has to tell you, Scorpio. Um, they don't come out often in for anybody. So this is... hopefully a message that will really help you to see and feel the energy of your guides to pull you from this quicksand that you have surrendered to and not in a good way but we all have those dark times and and it's not to be judged it's just to to reveal to you what spirit you know is is coming to tell you here the sovereign gentle power card number 30 is that an eight so light yeah it's 38 the sovereign gentle power there she is in nature surrounded look at all those butterflies look at her wings look at that beautiful fairy the sovereign yeah being sovereign means not being connected to energies or thoughts or, or things that are imposed by others or yourself, actually. Um, 38. Thirty-eight, the sovereign. Um, and the three um, is is li life and love giving unconditional love ascended masters and the eight of course is infinity your infinite soul nature your um connectedness with all that is again anim anima mundi coming through here okay the sovereign speaks and i really think i need light because these this type in this book is so ridiculously tiny <laughs> it's brutal Okay, it is not okay. So the sovereign speaks. It is not our de desire to possess power, but to radiate it out in ev ever increasing waves, sending these seedlings of empowerment into the world, taking root in all your hearts. We do not hold on. We allow this power to extend out to flow and to be yours too. To be a queen, to be the sovereign of your world is not what so many beings feel and dream it to be. It is not about the instant fulfillment of whimsical desires, nor is it the power of enjoying personal luxury while others suffer and lament. It is to be a caretaker and an example to all. I ask you now that if you wish to be treated as royal and as the sovereign in your world, you must become truly royal. Care for the others around you. Walk amongst them. Bury yourself with dignity and courage, no matter the circumstance. And know that no small thing is too humble to be of interest to you. Look around your world and see where you have confused the fulfillment of desire with the role of sovereign. And take up the mantle of that role in your life now. It is no burden, but it is a responsibility. You are queen. You are sovereign. You are the one who creates your world. Like it or not, you are the one who must change the order of what is and bring about the change you wish to see elsewhere by bringing it forth from within yourself. Awesome. Okay. Let me tell you about the Sovereign. The Sovereign is a dragon fig queen who rules the element of Earth. She is of the autumn, of the mineral world, and of those things that grow. She is compassionate and loving and filled with a sense of her own power that only encourages the power of others. Thus, she is an inspiration and muse to all those wishing for mentors in the realm of their own personal sovereignty. She offers a different experience to the one 
many of us have been taught that of com competition, that of being being fearfully taking what they can while they can, and they are so racked with the anxiety that they're are insufficient resources to go around she dwells in the realms of the infinite and protects all she dwells with however she does not allow this harmful vibration to enter her magical realm so those with grasping hands and hearts will never see her or feel her true deep magic Open-hearted we must be, sovereign to ourselves, loving unto ourselves, and full of the knowledge that we already have more than enough. Our role is to be fully who we are and play our part in the dance of life. She is soft and yet she is majesty. This is for you to allow into your life now. And divinatory meanings, Refuse to, refusing to acknowledge yourself as the creator in your world, blaming authority figures, seeing only the trappings and not the humanity and the responsibility, being too influenced by others who see you as, who see you as successful, powerful, powerful others, thus giving away your power. Not taking care of the little things in your own domain. Seeing what is yours now as unworthy of great care or, in Excuse me. care or interest. Working with the sovereign. Feel your own soft majesty. Feel your power now and express it through living in integrity. Be responsible, beginning now and incrementally taking the vibratory level up each day for your world. Care for the earth by recycling and composting and consuming in an aware fashion. Exert gentle influence by being a wonderful example to others. Be your magnificent sovereign self as this dragon fade lady guides you back to the path of true and deep glory. Not the glory of the material or the attention or the fame, which are all simply clutter, but to truly care for yourself and have the freedom to choose your role, to have the right to create a luxurious and sumptuous and beautiful environment in which to dwell and to hear yourself with dignity and regal splendor without others trying to cut you down to size again this is what you must do now your integrity or theirs no longer believing the untruths of those in authority becoming your own authority and live in the light of your own truth so <laughs> You're being asked by the beautiful sovereign to uh, step into your power. This is about, remember, gentle power. To step into your power. To let go of the constructs, the illusions that you set up for yourself. The, the prison that is desolate and dark and lonely and uneventful and isolated and and it, it, she's saying you have the power to, to change your world. You also have the responsibility to see how you're the creator of your world and create a different dynamic, a different situation for yourself at this time. That There's no other way about it. Nobody else is going to do it for you. You have to do it for yourself, dear one. You have to... Go deep within yourself. Re let yourself go. Be the uh, responsible, amazing, loving, nurturing mother, father for your inner child. That is what is needed right now. So you can rebirth yourself as a sovereign being without feeling the push and pull and the confusion of the dark and the light and this and that and, and um judgment and shame and fear and all of those things that seem to be in the batter of this cake we need to make a new cake is like what i'm seeing like it's time to to make a new cake it's like do you want to be here for another birthday coming up in a couple of months we're going into may your scorpio that is like october you know november energy right so we need to um or yeah we need to move away or I'm losing my mind here. Yeah. 
yeah, October, November, right? Yeah. <laughs> so confused with myself right now. Um, but anyway, what I'm seeing here is, you know, it can be like, I, I am I'm literally seeing a big birthday cake here. And it's like, think of your birthday in a couple of months. And where do you want to be for that celebration? And are you going to be in this state still it's up to you you can still be isolated in the mountain you can still be looking in a distorted mirror at yourself or you can you know follow the path that's being led out led for you which is to see it all see yourself in creation and be a part of it as a sovereign being and working with the sovereign to help yourself get there again you're the only one with the power to truly make this happen for you you can heal and leave the past behind come into a new situation be done with this be done with this and um and get into a state of higher awareness and being and follow the sovereign okay well there we go scorpio i know this is kind of heavy hopefully it's given you um help and you can resonate with this on some level i hope that may brings more clarity more healing more connection with mother earth with your spirit tribe answer the call is what i'm hearing stop letting it ring and don't let it go to voicemail answer the call take that call do what you need to do to change the energy in your environment like i said this may be even going on a long extended trip this may be moving someplace else or something like that um to help catapult this energy and move this energy forward for you so i would really consider something like that a weekend away find an airbnb go to a hotel or a motel on the beach if you are in the mountains if you're at the beach go to the mountain something needs to to flip here um in your environment all right there scorpio again thank you so much for being here please reach out if i can be of help to you in any way shape or form my website again is the healing butterfly.com and i will see you next time infinite love and blessings bye for now